What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Even though the Clippers have won one of the biggest games of the season for them, which is always a big game of the season for them against the Lakers, they still need to stay focused. And what I mean by the Clippers need to stay focused, there's an opponent they have tonight, you know, in the Knicks or today for the Knicks. And they have to stay focused and stay the course because their goal is to definitely try to reach that sixth seed, which they're definitely in contention of to get a playoff spot and secure a playoff spot if possible. The way they've been playing has been impressive, more than impressive, if you want to say the least. And they have just been surprising people from... You know, really, since they since they lost, you know, Kawhi and PG, really, they they just been a big surprise to a lot of um, NBA doubters, I would say, uh, just NBA world in general. I mean, this team has really held it together. Ty Lue has really held it together and really had this team ready to go every single night. And the resiliency and the next man up mentality definitely fits this team, as I said in many videos, because it's the only team that it fits the best because they definitely mimic what they speak. And if the next man up mentality is the way they live, well, then it definitely works for them because what we've seen up to this point has been amazing. You know, they don't have Kawhi and PG. They still are on a several game winning streak. Um, they've beaten the Lakers four straight times this season. And on top of that, you know, they're a very dangerous team without those two players and making one of the biggest underrated trades this season by getting uh, Robert Covington and Norman Powell was very, very um, good as well. So, I mean, they've done a lot of good things under the radar that a lot of people might not be noticing. But at the same time, I think they're starting to because what Ty Lue has done with this young team has definitely put them in position to not only win, but teach them how to play basketball while they're getting the experience and teach them under and teaching them basketball to make them understand what it means to be a winner in this league and what it takes to do that and for him to be able to do this with a bunch of guys that a lot of people thought were rejects or misfits or guys that don't even belong in the NBA or on the NBA roster it's been very very impressive I mean you've seen Amir Coffey you know have good games Luke Kennard Terrence Mann I mean the list goes on and on I mean every night you play the Clippers you really don't know where it's coming from anybody can have a big night at any time on that team and um, you also got to give credit to you know players like Isaiah Hardenstein who came out of nowhere you know and um, you know played his tail off and worked himself into a contract and is definitely you know exceeding expectations for what they have for him and then the way Zubak is playing lately you know you definitely got to give him a lot of credit lately because he's the one player on the Clippers that a lot of people look at that's young but also has a lot of talent to be a presence you know in the paint as far as a big man for the Clippers so if he can continue what he's doing along with everybody else playing their role the way they can I mean you know the Clippers are definitely they're, they're, they're definitely gonna be a tough out whether they have Kawhi Leonard and PG or not they're just definitely gonna be a tough out um, because they just got too much fight in them and they just really actually believe they could beat anybody and I've said before you know confidence is the biggest biggest thing you could have when you play sports or do anything in life because if you have confidence in what you're doing, not only are you going to go out there and play with an open mind and play with that type of confidence and free will, you're going to go out there and execute the plan at the highest level possible, even though others and doubters might not think that you can, you know, so and that's what the Clippers thrive off of. And they've been thriving off it very well. Definitely been impressed by what I've seen from them. And I definitely think a lot of people have been impressed. But, you know, as of right now, like I said, the goal should be try to get to that six seed or higher because because if you if you can avoid the playing tournament, then definitely do that because you're only like two games behind uh, the the Denver Nuggets and only like one game behind, I think, the uh, Timberwolves. And that definitely would be, you know, a good thing if the Clippers are able to do that without their two superstars, hoping that their two superstars will come back. Um, not too certain about either one of those players. I mean, I definitely hear a lot of good things in regards to both of them are looking really good, ramping it up high and ready to go. I'm not sure if they'll let them come back this early, uh, maybe like 10 games before, you know, the playoffs, hopefully something like that, or maybe even in the first round, you know, because I think 
you know, with the Clippers, depending on who they play in the first round, you know, it definitely can make a difference if, of course, if Kawhi and PG can come back then. But um, hopefully they get them back because I definitely think this is the scariest team in the NBA if they're healthy because I just don't feel like anybody really scares them and I don't feel like they fear anybody. They don't fear anybody now without their two superstars. So if they had their two superstars, I think they would walk even more with their chest high and their heads up even more than what they do because, you know, right now when you look at the NBA, you know, Chris Paul is hurt, you know, for the Suns, Devin Booker, you know, I uh, think, well, he's not hurt, but safety protocols, but the, the Suns could be beat is what I'm saying. The Warriors can be beat. You know, I don't, who knows what's going to happen with Draymond. This dude got back injuries. So every time I see a player with back injuries, they never come back the same for some reason. And um, you look at uh, the Lakers, they're definitely a mess, definitely a team that the Clippers can beat. They already shown they could beat them four straight times. Nothing else to really prove unless they had to play them in a playoff game or something like that but as of right now the, you know the Clippers are the better team no doubt about it so I mean um, the Clippers definitely have an opportunity if they can get healthy but as of right now at this moment stay the course you got the Knicks uh, as your opponent well then you need to take care of that you don't need to um, go out there and live off the high of what Reggie Jackson did against the Lakers and a lot of people are talking about it I know the last few days you know a lot of people been mimicking and harping back on how the Clippers blew out the Lakers but see that's just a trap type situation because coming off a high in a big game like that you go into a game at home versus the Knicks and you kind of play lackadaisical and sleepwalk a little bit you can find yourself losing a game you should win and see there again remember you're trying to chase that uh six seed or better so you can't you know have, you, you know what I'm saying you can't falter now you got to try to keep it going keep the confidence going stay on the course stay focused and keep everything right in front of you because that's exactly what the Clippers need to do if they plan on making a push and that's what they need to do make a push get out of the playing tournament um you know uh seating get into the playoff seating because like i said securing yourself a spot is a whole lot better because now you know if you're able to get to the sixth seed instead of the playing tournament you know what i'm saying that that gives you a little bit more breathing room that gives you a little bit more time while teams are playing the playing tournament games you're waiting for your opponent you know for you know the the playoffs to start and now you actually know who you're gonna play you can you know um you know, make plays around that. You can make adjustments and, you know, look at tape and on who you're going to play. It's just better when you actually have a secure playoff spot rather than going into a playing tournament, not knowing who you're going to play and then not knowing, uh, you know, who you're going to play after that. You know, if you get past that person, the team in the playing tournament, it's just too much that can go wrong with that. So I think the Clippers, you know, motto and MO should be, you know, go after um, trying to get to that playoff spot because they definitely have a great opportunity and the opportunity is in front of them and they don't need to let it slip away now. So with that being said, you know, the Knicks coming up now, get past them, move on to the next. And as I said before, uh, a few videos ago, they're, they're, a few videos ago, I said their next 10 games is very favorable for their matchups in regards to the teams they're playing. This is one of the teams they have, you know, beaten the Houston Rockets a couple times, beat up on them, beat up on the Lakers in the last week or so. So, I mean, now you definitely need to take it out on the Knicks, beat up on them some more. And as I said, in the next 10 games, you know, uh, well, I think they're like, you know, four or five games in now. But I said a few videos ago, they need to at least go seven and three out of the next 10 games. You know, right now they're definitely exceeding that. So hopefully they continue to keep their winning ways and keep their winning mentality and build off of what they have and take it going forward and see if it can help them actually reach a playoff spot. But hey, that's my take on everything. You leave any comments in the comment section as always. And uh, hey, Callie out.